What's up, ladies and gentlemen, hackers? Welcome and thanks for watching. All is right? Okay, today I will show you how to repair an IKEA LED lamp. In this case, the model is called VICT. It's not easy to find another lamp to replace it nowadays. So, if you want to continue using his design, this is one easy and economical solution. So, are you interested? Come on, see me and let me explain you how to achieve this. Let's go! Prelude, what the problem was? I realized the LED light started to go wrong when it turned off by itself after a while. So, I decided to take a look inside the IKEA Bict in search of a solution. Chapter 1. In search of a solution. At back of the IKEA Bict, you can see a LED driver and two screws. Our objective is identify the specs of this LED driver and get a replacement. Let's take a look. Chapter 2. Collecting the specs for make a decision. At first glance, the primary voltage, voltage that comes from your home, is different from the output, voltage that goes to the LED lamp. For the other values, let's explain it on a blackboard. The formula of power is voltage per intensity ampere and the power of this IKEA LED lamp big model is 6 watts, according to official IKEA site. Let's calculate the power for these two outputs we saw. On the LED driver, 8.5 volts per 0.7 ampere, that means 700 milliamperes, and calculate 12 volts per 0.5 ampere, that means 500 milliamperes, are 5.95 watts and 6 watts respectively. The second option is more close to our needs, so we take it as the good reference. Now it's important keep in mind the following rules. To choose a compatible LED driver, the power can be equal or higher, the intensity ampere can be equal or higher too, and the voltage can be equal or lowest, because otherwise the LED lamp could be damaged. Chapter 3. Choosing a compatible LED driver. Let's check the specs of this new LED driver. It can be observed a range of values. The power of LED lamp is 6 watts and the range of the new LED driver is 6 to 12 watts, 2 per 3 and 4 per 3 respectively. It's ok. The intensity amperage of the old current driver is 500 mA and the range of the new LED driver is 580 to 600 milliamperes. Fits ok. The voltage of the old current driver is 12 volts and the range of the new LED driver is 6 to 14 volts. Fits ok because this new LED driver accepts lower and although it can accept higher voltage, it will adapt according to the batch of the LED lamp, 6 watts. Chapter 4 replacing the damaged LED driver. Let's go back to the IKEA big LED lamp and screw the two screws of the housing. And the two small screws that hold the wires. Get the black and red wires of the new driver and join it matching the colors of the IKEA big wires. The color of the LED lamp wires have a white coating, but you can see their color by sliding the cover down. Adapt the new LED driver best as you can to the case of the lamp. Chapter 5. 
Chapter 5, Testing the New LED Driver. This lamp comes with a power cable you can use. This cable has two wires, one in blue and the other in grey. Grey joins with brown and the blue with blue of the LED lamp. You need to cut the black coating of the power cable to see the colors. Now, test the new LED driver connecting it to a plug. Congratulations, it works! Chapter 6. Turn it back to where it was. Unscrew the blue and grey cables and put the IKEA Vict LED lamp where it was. Screwing the blue and brown wires. And remember, be good. Be hackers!